Welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm still using GeForce Experience. Today, we are going to be doing some nonsense. I got a video software. As you can see, it looks pretty legit, this block. So, yeah, smooth camera's on. But today, we'll be making something something pretty insane. I'm obviously not going to have music. As I find that's a bit overrated, I probably will add some actually. So whatever song you're hearing right now, it's probably something memeful, hopefully. So, um, last video, no, the video before the one that's uploading in a minute is gonna have audio, but the one before that is not gonna have audio. It's just as butter by Swiss Studio One as it was a video based on airplanes. But today we're gonna be making something that's a bit stupid. It's gonna be something, let's say. You probably could already tell by the title. But I don't know what I'm making. That's the sad truth. I'm just gonna, you know. So, you know, you just gotta find this, rotate it 45 degrees, control C, oh, go into here, control C, uh, three, I don't know what this is gonna be, but I bet it's gonna be cool, <laughs> it may even just be retarded, I don't know. So yeah, PewDiePie was surpassed for how much long was it like eight minutes? No, I probably shouldn't do that. I should probably do about fifteen degrees rotation. Yeah, he was surpassed for um 15 minutes due to inactive subs. YouTube did that at the worst time possible. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to be building this. You probably aren't going to see this as I probably edited this out. May have, may not. Now, as if I was feeling like doing it. I'm gonna do that.
so I've created this thing. <coughs> I have no idea what it is. I just created it. So I'm hoping it's going to be cool in the end. I, I don't have a plan for this. I'm just, you know, just putting some bracing, making cool shape. Oh, that actually might be a cool little skid vehicle that like skids around. Yeah, I'm gonna actually scale these. Turn down the X scale bit. Boom. There we go. That's beautiful. Okay, does it mess around on the ground? Okay, doesn't. I usually do mess around with vehicles. Like making them steam powered and have like all sorts of controls. It's just I usually never save them. So I'm gonna hopefully have a steam powered vehicle or something. So we're gonna be basically gonna make a little mobile fighting base, let's say. So I'm gonna add two things here, make sure that's still stable, okay. So the fighting base will be I think it should have a fin or two on it. As it's gonna be pretty fast, hopefully. I usually despise against having these blocks, but I think it'll be good. I'm going to use my rotational on the back. But I am going to have certain like, controls to where it sticks to the ground. Why am I trying to go up? This isn't a plane. I want downforce. So this is just gonna basically Z scale shrink that control C control V control V. <coughs> so now we have some downforce. Obviously this isn't gonna be enough for us to make us get anywhere. So I'm gonna increase that to about like three should be good to get us somewhere. That's gonna be a toggle. Maybe even nine. Yeah, nine looks pretty good. That'd be cool if I added air brakes, like right here, or, like I had things laying down. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So we have this here. This is gonna be an air brake. So, like, say you're going really fast. I'm gonna. Put this here, limit. Put this limit as that. It's gonna look like it's basically 90 degrees. Then this will be zero. I've added an air brake because we're gonna be going pretty fast. So I'm just actually gonna, you know scale down this there we go looks good now also this can be scaled down no scaling so I've made an air brake for the vehicle So you hit zero and then you get an air brake, which I find is useful. I'm gonna apply the method that I used to turn my planes into this. But it's gonna be basically the pitch method, but sideways. Is that how it works? Yeah. So swivel joint goes here. No. Swivel joint will go sideways. Well, that would be like that. Okay. So 
Yeah, it has two hinges. No. I'm probably just gonna edit this out. Forget that this isn't actually a building thing. You're actually trying to make it go sideways. This is the way I know. What was it? I want this actually to be able to, you know, grab onto things, so I'm gonna increase that, increase that, increase that, all by a teensy bit. So move this back some, like, I like to have this on one at all times. So far, this is what I've come up with. I know this one. Okay, cut that, cut that, cut that. So it's right. Now what? This would be control. That would be shift. So far, this is what I come with from that general shape, well, where I last left off. So you press O, and you can have control.
also after doing some fine tuning I have a different rider looking design that's a bit different I'm actually hoping on reducing some drag by only having two of these one at each side but that's going to be a bit of a difficult problem so I'm actually going to have that yeah increases the controllability a little bit more well you know it would be legit if I did that both the propeller also But I, this is one controlling me mechanism. So all I have to do is go into blocks. Why is the hinge not in mechanical? All I have to do is do that also. And I could just hook it up to it. So we go. It's going to be. So we have that. So we want this part to be that part. That's going to do a little. Hmm. Or maybe I anchor this part. And maybe move this part. I don't really know how to get this to work. Yeah, that didn't work. So, so this is anchored and it's moving at that. It's moving that. I mean, like, we could always just add some more bulk to the front. It really doesn't matter. I mean, I'm doing it right now. I now have this sort of system that I still need to. <coughs> okay, so yada yada yada. Hopefully this turns correctly. Most likely not. No, nothing turns correctly. So far, I've come with this design, which now features this propeller to rotate along. So yeah, that's gonna be how that's working. I sort of also think of making this system a bit kind of like a cart. So you press O and you can. Wish these were actually connected. I kind of want to make these like really, really low. Oh, like right inside this engine. Well, not engine, body of the vehicle. Okay, that's obviously just gonna slink slot the shot. Let's give this some power, such as eight. Now that we're on something a bit better for rolling on. I'm just, you know. So in order to keep this stable, we're going to want something that twists this way. I mean, I, could, I should have added a um, swivel joint up here, which would have made my life easier. I thought of adding an extra hinge system sort of thing. 
banana. Take me a piece of chocolate bar. We have the bike system. We have steering. I think I'll do better with some extra wheels too. I think what advanced building is meant to be is like so you can replicate things. Instead it's for me to make things actually work easily. And this thing is pretty cool. I like it. Then put up your air brake to go around the corner better. You're in a straightaway. Brakes, 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 brakes. I kind of want to test the braking on this. So I'm gonna go here, and then no brakes. We come this thing pretty far, pretty far, pretty far, pretty far. Yeah, da 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 da. Now if I go to that speed again, press the brake. Okay, so we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna go to the end of this with power right here. Then we're gonna hit the brakes. Okay, that worked. Now I'm gonna go to the end of this to power, and I'm gonna go to the end of this with power, or whatever. Air brake does help. I wanna put some air brakes on this side, the sides, because I think that'll just look cool in general. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. There we go, and you know, copy. No, I'm gonna have to create my own original ring structures for this, because I so I'm gonna be doing that. So I'm gonna want it to be out a little bit more. That's gonna probably semi work. No, you're not intersecting the ground. So da 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 da. That one's working, but this one isn't. Are those causing issues? No, you just really don't want to work, do you? Not translate machine. What's different? I'm gonna move you in one. And move you in one. That does not do it. Nope. Okay, maybe I don't want to be moved in one. Why am I doing that? I don't know. Nope. Okay. Maybe it's actually this. I'm going to put them right here. I'm gonna. Yeah, it looks about right. I need to move it a little though. So that's working, but that one's not working anymore. 
enough room for the really the red arrow to be obvious. Move this out the way. Yep, that's good. Move that there. Move that to the center. There we go, air brakes. Though I want them to be able to move in a little. Minimum angle will be like, I don't know. I think 18% will be about good. Dude, 18% is perfect. Dude, air brakes on. Go. I actually think it'd be pretty cool if left. So shift would be up and down. Control C, Control V. So you're going, you're going, you're going. We hit the brakes. Maybe turn up the speed to, I don't know. Three. Control C. Control V. So, right shift that all the way up to three. So, after all of that, this is where I've come to. After didn't know what to do, I've come to this vehicle. It has six wheels, but they are not powered. I want to make this like a class of vehicle. You build your vehicle on a frame, but the frame needs to be reasonable sized, like seven wide or whatever, for the basic frame, seven wide. Doesn't matter how long, that's compromising yourself, and it must have six wheels but you build the vehicle. No rockets, only a propeller and wings. So you can't have anything else propelling you except for a propeller. You can map it however you want. Mods are allowed as long as they don't overkill your thing. Propeller speeds are limited to 10. That's how fast you want to go. I have mine set low, but this is the maximum you can do. 10. Which actually might work because, well, I have pretty good steering and brakes. Yeah, brakes are good. I want to keep mine to 8. But maximum propeller speed is 10. You can have 6 wheels. They have to be these sort of scooter wheels. They can have suspension or not. Now is how you want to have it. Of all. Okay. Cut all of that just while I was rambling.
Ready. Set. <coughs> Go. I want to create a new class of vehicles. I want them to be called the whatever class. You guys can make a name for them. The only parts that are allowed to touch the ground are these six wheels and they have to be scooter wheels or whatever you want to call them. The maximum propeller speed and it must be driven by a propeller. Can't have anything fishy. And it must touch ground at all times. Must be driven by a propeller. Maximum propeller speed is 10. There must be nothing touching the ground except for these six wheels. And it must be these six wheels. The frame can only be seven wide. Air brakes do not count as the frame. It does not matter if your vehicle is unstable as these scooter wheels are very, very unstable when using on really anything. You cannot have anything touching the ground except for these six wheels at any time. So you must have air brakes basically. You can only have one propeller on your thing. You can switch the propeller around if you want to use the propeller as braking. Okay, I need to make something more professional than this. So I'm gonna, you know, go here. I wanna put some skins on this. Uh, by the way, be cutting everything you that's happening right now. Okay. Me in the future that's editing this video. I still want it's all the skins I have I don't think it's all oh yeah they're under you know
No, I want to give them a cool skin. I kind of like that color. Yeah. All shadow. <sighs> I want some red in here or orange. I think orange would actually look pretty cool as like some skinning for here. Boom, 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 boom. And now you can go with this coloring and do all the like sort of regularly looking blocks. And color them that. Okay, go back to the orange. I'm seeing some other things aren't actually colored, right? Tracer. Then we have that skin there. We go in with this skin. Give it this nice finish of sometimes having like this skin sketched in a bit. No, you just on the inside you want that color. So I wanna you know do that. Boom. side looks better. I like the orange side more. Okay, we're gonna do this orange side all the way orange. <laughs> do I have unpainted things here? That was a close call. I kind of like that orange on the front, but then again, I could go for that color. Like, down the straight up middle, which I think might look pretty cool. If we set this up right. Yeah, basically just try to make this whole middle section all gray. But then have some of this as orange. Yeah. There we go. 
then I have some orange plates here. Then I want my gray here. Which side looks better? Boom. I think this is looking pretty good. There we go. It's like red hot on the front. Yeah, how about I just make this whole front all just orange, like, boom, orange. Boom, orange. Not like it's, like, fading off. I kind of like it. Then again, I wish some parts were, you know. Gray, like that. Then these two. What if I painted that olive? No, that really doesn't fit in. How about Africa? I think that needs its own color. As it's like the front bit. No, that's too monochrome. Now, what if I went like that and then all of that? I don't know. I think all the really like air brakes should be orange. Oh yeah, I forgot to move that block right here. And I forgot to move that down. And to also change its, you know, size. Z scale. Boom. Ooh, beautiful little front nose. Now what if I made those gray? I think that actually looked pretty good. Yeah. That doesn't look good. Now I have to make these orange to rebalance it. I think I have it pretty good. Though... Those need to be back to this color, I guess. There we go. Zoo class. Zoo. I don't know, maybe having that black out. Mm.
I would like to present a new class of races. Okay, so never mind. A new class of races will not exist now. I would like to present a new class of races. The S U class. Featuring six scooter wheels as its main source of movement. Though the wheels are not powered, it's only powered by a fan in the front that's only allowed to be at a maximum of 10. It includes a fan limited by 10 on the power scale, a rudder control system, and air flaps. As the only thing allowed to touch the ground are these six wheels. If anything else touches the ground, it's not considered the zoo class. As you can see here, I have an example of what is allowed. It's high maneuverability. Any mods go as long as they do not affect the performance. So you can change the size, shape, the speed, but this speed is only maximum of 10. If it's any higher, it is not part of the zoo class. Or SZU. The class is mainly specified mainly as a performance ground plane. No part of the vehicle is allowed to leave the ground. This vehicle is sticking to the ground with four spoilers under the vehicle. It has high tech braking system basically just air brakes ginormous air brakes that will allow to stop these vehicles are low maneuverability but they get high speeds as it be stable without braking With braking, high performance difference. Please submit your creations for the SZU uh, class in the comments below. It's actually pretty easy to drive. Okay, if you enjoyed watching, make sure to leave a like on the video. Also, just leave your things, your files, your Steam Workshop, or whatever, your creation for Besiege. Just leave them in the comments below. And I'll hopefully review each one of them. Yeah, maximum of 10 on the propeller, what propeller allowed. Only these six wheels, only this type is allowed to touch the ground. Maximum width of 7. Length doesn't matter, I don't give a crap, it's only gonna affect you. 
you must have a rudder or whatever way you turn. Maybe you don't want to rudder, you just want that front bit of steering. Which I can understand, but, you know, not that well. So I hope to see your creations. And always make sure to like if you enjoyed the video. Dislike it if you didn't enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Maybe see your creation in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.